good morning so i just want to address something really quickly as i am sitting at my desk and grading some papers getting some paperwork done and inputting grades as well as answering emails I have received an email that, in a second, I'm gonna show you what that email is, not putting anyone on blast, but my favor that I am asking of you, um, I know a lot of my former students follow me as well as parents follow me um, and whomever this may apply to. If you would, please, please be so kind and mindful of how you write an email to your children's teachers or to your own teacher. Please keep in mind that oftentimes your wording and what you say in an email and sometimes in a text, the tone can come over absolutely wrong. Now, the email that I just received, I am doing all that I can to hold on to the professionalism that I try to continue to have. However, don't try me. Okay, don't try me. I want to stay sweet. This is sweeter than candy. Okay, I want to stay sweet. But um, you don't just get to talk to people however you see fit, especially to authority figures when you need something from them. Again, I know that sometimes it can come across wrong, so maybe I'm reading it wrong, and I'm going to let y'all take a peek at it and see if it's just me, because it could just be me. You let me know. Okay, so I'm going to try to read this the way that I heard it when I read this student's email. Can you just send me a retake on the factors and multiples? Because I can't move on to a different lesson until I pass that. Then I'll have more work to do. I'll be working on science. Also, I think grades are due this Friday. If they are, and if I complete all this stuff, can you put it in the grade book or try to? So, was it just me? Or did y'all read that with a little bit of tone behind it as well? Because when I saw it, I I had to like keep rereading it over and over again just to, to make sure I was reading it right. Um, please start off your emails with a greeting. That would be nice, okay? Um, and not only just starting off with a greeting, but wish them well and hope that all that they are doing. You wanna, you wanna talk to people. Delivery is everything. I'm a huge believer in delivery. Delivery is everything. You can get your point across without being rude, without being snarky, and without having some type of underlying tone. Even when we might feel some type of way, there is still a way for things to be done, especially in the professional world, and especially when you are um, contacting contacting an authority figure. So with that being said, please ma'am, please sir, would you reread your emails and your text? And if you're not sure, send it to a friend or someone you know that will give you their honest opinion of, eh, you might not wanna say that, reworded this way okay in the meantime i probably will have a a talk with this student i'm not going to be ugly at all but my job is not just to educate with you know academic matters but i want to make sure that my students know for the future when you get ready to talk to your boss or or a professor or wherever you may be in the future there is protocol there is etiquette even in emails and texts with that being said, guys, you guys have a great day. Be sweet. Choose joy. Bye. Wait, before we go, I thought I would give you an example of how I would rewrite that email for a teacher or an authority figure. So it reads as so. Good morning, Ms. Harris. I hope that this email finds you well. I am emailing because I am unable to move forward in my math section of ACT. When you get a chance, will you allow me to retake the factors and multiples quiz? In the meantime, I will be working on my science ACT so that I don't fall behind. Lastly, are grades due at the end of the week? If so, will this week's assignments be included with the calculations for our progress report? Thanks for all you do. And that's it, guys. I said the exact same thing but it has a completely different tone. 
All you have to do is be mindful of how you word or say things. Okay, that's it. Bye.